everyone, welcome back to the Football Zone and welcome to the weekend preview. Yes, it's the penultimate game week of the season for both the Premier League and the Championship and the FA Cup is also back, so that's nice. And it's time to get stuck right into it with some key permutations for all results. Starting off with Norwich v Burnley. I think Burnley will probably outclass Norwich here. Norwich are already down and don't really look like doing anything. And not Burnley on a great run of form and pushing for Europe. So I can see Burnley nicking a 2-1 win here. Next up, Southampton v Bournemouth. Uh, um, Bournemouth, what's it called? The Vitality Stadium. Uh, I can see this going the way of Southampton actually. Don't get me wrong, Bournemouth have been playing quite well recently. But I think Southampton has just been playing even better recently. Uh, picked up points against Man City, Man United. So I can see them winning here. I don't think it'll be comfortable. So I'll go for a 2 new one away win. Next up, uh, Leicester v Tottenham. Uh, huge game here in both contexts of the table. Leicester still fighting to get back in the Champions League places. Um, with... Tottenham in 7th, just inside a Europa League place. So it'll be interesting to see how this game pans out. But I'm going to go for a 2-1 Tottenham win. I think home advantage will just prove enough. Next up, Brighton v Newcastle. Um, this should be a pretty boring game, to be honest. Two sides whose season is really over. But I think Brighton being at home will just have a small advantage. So I'm going to say Brighton 1, Newcastle 0. At uh, Bramall Lane, Sheffield United host Everton. The Blades still with a good chance of getting into Europe. Um, I think we'll get the win here over Everton side, who are kind of stuck in 11th, 12th, that kind of area. So I'm going to say a 2-0 win for the Blades. I think it'll be quite comfortable. Molyneux, Wolves host Crystal Palace. I think this will be a comfortable win for Wolves, to be honest. Uh, Crystal Palace don't seem to be doing too much at the moment. They just seem to be on the beach. And with Wolves still with a chance of qualifying for every European competition or no European competition at all, I think they need it more. So I'm going to say a 3-0 win for Wolves. At Vicarage Road, Watford will be hoping for a better result than their result against Man City earlier on in the season, which made my list uh, earlier on in the week for the worst Premier League defeats of all time. So that's not very good. But what? But I think Man City will get a comfortable win here. Watford still just about in the relegation uh, picture, and Man City have uh, confirmed second, I believe, now. So I think Man City will win this 3-0. At Villa Park, Aston Villa's relegation will be all but confirmed here. Um, they host Arsenal. Um, I think Arsenal will pick up a victory, to be honest. Villa just don't really seem to have a lot left in them. And Arsenal are still pushing for Europa League spot after their impressive victory over um, Liverpool. So I'm going to say 2-0 to the Gooners. Finally at Old Trafford. West Ham uh, take the trip to Manchester United. I can't see this ending well for West Ham, to be honest. They're pretty much safe now, in my opinion. And Manchester United in fifth, still pushing for a Champions League spot. Um, I can see this being 3-0, to be honest. And, yeah. and finally at Anfield, Liverpool will be presented with the Premier League trophy uh, when they host Chelsea. Liverpool, uh, top of the league by quite some margin, although can't break the points record now. Chelsea, I think they're pretty secure in the Champions League slots, but aren't 100% safe yet. Uh, so we'll be desperate for a win, but I can't see them guessing it. I think Liverpool will probably have too much to uh, over them and will want to lift their Premier League title off a win. 2-0 Liverpool. And if my, all of my predictions are right, here's how the table will look. Man United jump up to third above Chelsea with Leicester in the uh, Europa League spots with Wolves and Spurs. And then in the relegation zone, Bournemouth, Villa and Norwich relegation all but confirmed. And in the FA Cup, it's Pep v Arteta, Man City v Arsenal. Uh, I can see Man City getting a win here. Arsenal have improved a lot recently over the past few games, but to be honest, I can't see um, any other result than a comfortable win for Man City. So I think it'll be a 2 0 which takes Man City on to their third, fourth consecutive FA Cup final. And the other game at Wembley this week, Manchester United v Chelsea. I think this will be slightly closer, although I do think in for Man United 
will have just enough over Chelsea to secure a victory. So I think it will be Manchester United 2, Chelsea 1. Moving on now to the Championship. We start off with, on Friday night, Huddersfield v West Brom. A huge game at both ends of the table. West Brom desperately need a win. Just one point clear of Brentford. And Huddersfield free clear of the relegation zone. But I can see West Brom having enough quality in what is an absolutely crucial game. So I'm going to say 3-1 West Bromwich. At the Valley, Charlton host Wigan. And to be honest, I think Wigan will be on such a high after the 8-0 victory over Hull. I think they'll get a win here. I'm going to say 2-0 Wigan, which will further ease relegation worries. And Charlton in all 47 points will remain in 21st. And being in big trouble still. At the Britannia, Stoke host Brentford. Brentford, of course, just one point off a uh, automatic promotion spot, and Stoke on seven in seventeenth, uh, five points clear of the relegation zone. Brentford will get the win here. They need it more. They're the better team. Three one Brentford. Next up, two teams who have already secured their championship uh, futures for next year: Blackburn v Reading. Uh, I can see this just being a end of season ball draw between two teams who have already secured their championship survival. So I'm saying Blackburn won, Reading won. We might get a nice goal. At Fulham, they host Sheffield Wednesday. And these are two sides. Fulham will be in the playoffs, not automatic, not out of it. Sheffield Wednesday mid-table. But I think Fulham are probably the better side and they've got home advantage. So I'll say a 2-0 win for the Clappers. Kenilworth Road, an absolutely ginormous game. Luton v Hull. Hull, of course, coming off the back of that 8 0 drubbing at Wigan. And Luton level on points to them just with a slightly worse goal difference somehow. But Luton have been playing well recently, and I can see them getting a big win here that will boost their survival and all but relegate Hull. I'm saying 1 0 Luton. At Riverside, it's a Neil Warnock derby. Middlesbrough 1, Cardiff 1. Middlesbrough season is all but over now. They're pretty much safe. And at Cardiff, their season is far from over. They're in six, two points above Millwall in the race of playoffs. But to be honest, Middlesbrough play that style of football under Warnock where they're hard to beat. So I'm going to say a 1-1 draw. Preston North End v Birmingham. Preston, slim chance of the playoffs, but very unlikely. Birmingham, slim chance of relegation, but very unlikely. Uh, I think Preston have a better quality and are at home, so I think they'll win. I'm going to say a 3-1 victory. At QPR v Millwall, it is a team that has nothing to play against, against a team that very much still has something to play against. Uh, Millwall in seventh, two points off the playoffs, and QPR in mid-table on a poor run of form. But to be honest, I just can't see it going Millwall's way and I can see them being held to a one all draw. Uh, at the Liberty, Swansea 2, Bristol City 1. Uh, Swansea still three points off the playoffs, so still within a chance. And Bristol five points off, so not much chance. As I said, I'm going 2-1. Swansea need it more. Uh, Bristol City still without a manager, so that will go against them. Yeah, so 2-1 Swansea. The Spygate derby... Uh, between Derby and Leeds. Um, I actually think Derby might win this one, to be honest. Leeds may think they're already up, and they probably are, but I can actually see Derby winning this, and it goes to a few jitters on the last day. They're a good side, Derby, but they won't make the playoffs. And Leeds, they're, well, they're doing well, but I can just see an upset. 2-1 Derby. Finally, at Oakwell, Barnsley v Nottingham Forest. Barnsley, I believe, will be relegated... If they lose this one, bum, bum, bum. yes, they will. And um, I think they will, to be honest. Forest are a good side and they want to confirm their playoff spot before it goes down to the last game. So I'm going to say 3-0 Forest. And if all of my predictions are correct, here's how the table would look like. Leeds and West Brom, top. Uh, but it will go down to the last day between all of those sides. But Brentford still in with a chance. Cardiff one point ahead of Swansea going into the last game. That caused some tension and then in the relegation zone is Hull, Charlton and Barnsley who are already down. But anyway guys that is it for this video. Thanks very much for watching. Remember to like, share, subscribe, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Follow me on Twitter for daily football news 
and subscribe to my other channels on the screen right now. That would be greatly appreciated. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.